notice it looks like it's misspelled, right? It's not. There's a reason for that. We're basically saying to you young men, it's whoa. Stop, think about the things that you're doing, the actions. Are they permittable for this young lady or woman, like the mother? Hi everyone, I'm Maria Alvarez. I'm a filmmaker from Beechwood High School. And when I first heard about Woman, I knew that this is exactly what I want to get involved with. And for me, that's through film. And for you guys spread the word and influence others that this is what you believe in and you think that it's really important. And this is a really simple yet powerful way to influence others. And we're also looking for ways to make this film possible through funding and just making everything. We have Savannah and Diamond also working on the film. Everyone just wants to get involved, and this is a way that once it's done, you guys can also get involved too. Thank you. Coaches across America share the same concern. Mm -hmm. uh, the best way to prevent is educate, and 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 I think fear, and I think letting know what happens if this if you are caught in this situation. So there's no question a video like this, and any type of education is the best answer. So the videos that we're in the process of creating, you think would be an effective tool to reach high school players even? Oh, I think uh, for sure, because uh, I think that's where it actually starts. From the scandal in Steubenville to the Ray Rice domestic violence, the football world has been reeling and feeling the pressure for a renewed effort to stand up against violence against women. Some local high school athletes are taking things into their own hands. Say, today's the fear is that the young people have grown up void of people and values worth emulating. I don't believe that. See, talent is God-given. But character is a matter of choice. Research shows that the best antidote to violence against women is men who step up, tell their peers that physical or sexual violence is wrong. It is the wrong thing to do. Uh, by signing the pledge here today, you'll be carrying a message back to your teams and your schools, for your team and for your school, that you will make a difference, that the culture will change. I want to take a pledge against sexual and physical violence against women and get the message out that violence against women is wrong. And do you agree that by taking this pledge, you will support the, the Woman movement for the promotion of respect for women and girls in particular, and respect for all, all people in general? Uh, response, I do. I do. Uh, if people do, don't know too much about their respect for women or they're just out there treating women wrong, you need to get you need to get this word out and make sure that just let them know that this is wrong and uh, everybody has a mother and uh, nobody wants their mom to be treated like that. That's the, that's the point I have to always go back to is that uh, would you want that to happen to your mom, your grandma, or your little sister? The uh, Woman Project is something that's great for, you know, to teach young men how to respect women and um, and young girls, and it's something that, you know, in this country, in this day and age, really needs to be um, an important issue. And this, and this film will appear not only, I mean, it'll be on Twitter, it'll be on Facebook, that's yeah. how this kind of message is communicated nowadays, right, Jerome? I mean, yes. this is how your friends hear these kind of messages. Yes. Good stuff. Thanks to all three of you for being here, but more importantly, for taking the time to do something so vitally important here in Ohio. We hugely appreciate it. We're gonna have all this information on our web if you wanna learn more about it. The event. Cleveland police say a 16-year-old boy was arrested for the crime on Friday. He has been charged with aggravated murder and is currently being held in the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Detention Center. Friends of John Marshall say the suspect was apparently angry because Jennifer broke up with him. When he showed up at her home early Friday, she made the mistake of going outside to talk to him. There were people that were aware that he was threatening Jennifer Zacharias. <clears throat> there were also people that were aware that he had access to a firearm. And guess what? They said nothing. The way I knew Jennifer Zacadia is, is she went to my church. I just want you guys to learn from this experience that this stuff is sad, this stuff happens, this stuff is real. People die from this, people are hurt from this. I lost a friend. I'm pretty sure we've all heard about people losing friends, families, or if it's not even losing them, it's losing who they really are. 
women getting raped, even if they don't die or anything, they're not killed, it changes them. They're not the same person anymore. If you need to make a woman feel like nothing to make you feel like a man, you're nothing but a coward. Don't just stand by. Speak up. Amen.